Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another travel vlog. I am in my house right now, but I am getting ready to go to New York again. I recently posted a travel vlog when I went to New York like a couple months ago and then I posted another travel vlog after that when I went to Dallas and today I'm going back to New York again and when I get back from New York I'm going to Dallas again so it's literally New York Dallas New York Dallas and this is actually my third time going to New York this year because I went earlier this year in February also so three times to New York in 2017 I feel like I should know a little bit more about the city than I do, but I haven't even been to Times Square. I haven't been to any of the touristy spots. I'm hoping that on this trip, I'll get a little bit more of an opportunity to explore the city a little bit more and maybe do like one or two, not well, maybe like one touristy thing because honestly, my schedule right now, it, my schedule right now is crazy. I am currently working on, I would say about five different i'm not gonna say sponsorships but like five different branded opportunities so i have a lot going on in terms of different brands that i'm working with the things that i obviously need to travel for which is why i keep going to new york and to dallas um and videos that i have to get done literally okay so right now it's about um 6 a.m i've basically stayed up all night. I took a short, like an hour nap somewhere around 3 a.m. I took like a little nap, but I basically have been up all night because I had so much to do just to prepare for this trip to New York for this weekend and this week and just like videos I was working on. I was literally like, I finished two videos. I finished one video yesterday during the day and then I had another video that I needed to finish up last night. So like last night at like midnight I was like finishing up that video and then I had to like run errands. I went and got my nails done because you know you gotta be you gotta be fresh and popping when you're like doing public appearances or events and meetups like this time I was gonna be sure that I was gonna be like having my life together because last time when I went to Dallas in my last vlog I was not prepared at all I was rushing around I did not like prepare my hair I didn't do my hair I didn't pack the right stuff like I was just all over the place and it was just like a horrible feeling and it completely threw me off so this time I was like I don't care if I have to stay up all night I'm going to be prepared so that's exactly what I did all yesterday I was like running errands went and got my nails done finished up two videos um, and then I ended up staying up all night washing this wig and re-straightening it and then I just applied it and glued it down and everything that way I would be ready to go whenever I got off the plane um, and can I say that I feel like my hair I feel like it doesn't look as great in this in this lighting in this camera right now but like can I just say that I feel like my hair is really laid right now? This is my same Raven Elise RPG Show blonde wig. I did wash it with purple shampoo. I wanted to show you guys the shampoo, uh, or not shampoo, but the conditioner I use. Sometimes I also use purple shampoo with it too, but this is the purple conditioner I use on this wig. And anytime I'm doing anything with blonde hair, I always like to do purple shampoo and conditioner because what it does is it helps tone the hair and like kind of revitalize the blonde and i think it really definitely worked this time it's looking really ashy and almost a little bit more like grayish platinum-ish so that's what i did to wash it touch it up blow dry it straighten it and then glued it down with my got to be glued gel so everything is all secure around the lace but yeah speaking of this wig what i'm actually going to new york for well actually it turns out that i'm going to new york for like three different events the first major event that i'm actually going to new york for in the first place is the rpg show takes new york event they're bringing out some influencers and some hairstylists and some representatives from the rpg show company and then they sold tickets to anybody who wanted to come and hang out with us and talk about wigs and you know try on wigs and stuff like that 
and Vicky Logan is also going to be there so I'm going to be meeting up with her at the airport when I get to New York and we're going to be staying at the same hotel and stuff because RPG show hooked us both up um, so that should be a really funny bet so that's obviously why I wanted to wear my Raven Elise RPG show blonde wig this is by far my favorite wig I've ever done with them in terms of our collab history and I know as of right now this wig is still out of stock it's been out of stock for a while because after it first came out they got so many orders and these are custom wigs they hand bleach them and tone them one by one it starts off as like a dark wig and then they do the blonde so they just got really overwhelmed with the orders and it did go out of stock but when I get to New York and I meet up with RPG show people I am going to be talking to them about bringing this wig back in stock and also doing another wig and another wig after that so definitely stay tuned for my upcoming RPG show wig collaborations and be on the lookout for this one to come back in stock so like I said it's like 6 a.m. right now I've been up all night preparing packing doing my hair making sure my videos are done all of this stuff um, I can't believe I still have like so much energy right now I think it's just like adrenaline like I'm just like if you don't sit down then you won't get tired like that's like how I'm going right now but today at 6 p.m. I have a meetup with Vicky at Kiehl's. So the skincare product brand Kiehl's decided to go ahead and host us for a meetup. Um, and I'm really excited because I never got to do an actual meetup the last couple times that I was in New York. So finally I'm doing like a legit meetup. But I also wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I just got this hoodie. It's a men's hoodie. I got it from PacSun. Um, obviously it's Adidas and it matches my Adidas um, leggings that I already had and I also have the matching t-shirt for these leggings that I typically wear with it but I saw this hoodie and I was like oh I definitely need the hoodie for the colder weather and yeah it's just a really nice men's hoodie this is actually a men's size small but it's definitely really like big and comfy on me it's actually like long enough to be like a little hoodie dress because it comes down all the way to like mid thigh on me um, even though it's a size small and they do come in extra small too if you don't want it to be quite this big um, I don't know if they come in like regular smaller women's sizes but I like the really big men's oversized and it's like a really nice thick material and super cozy on the inside now it's just like yes worth every penny so I will try to link this hoodie and these leggings if they still have them um, I will try to link them down below for you guys this is like my favorite stuff to wear to the airport I always have to go to the airport in like comfy cozy sweats and you guys know I love Adidas so
<laughs> Finally, I was at the wrong elevator, I guess. Look at this celebrity. <laughs> look at this celebrity. No, you look like you're actually somebody. <laughs> you look like you're somebody. You have on the the boots. The Ivy Park. No, look at okay, you, name look brand. You I feel like I've been waiting for you for three weeks. I uh, know for like ever. Okay, so now we have to get an Uber to get across the world. Ooh. Mm, that Uber. This Uber though. Okay, so I didn't vlog this whole experience at all. Oh, I tried. Um, Gabby told I me if I didn't vlogging. do the job, she'd be mad at me. So I'm like trying to step it up. I basically stopped vlogging when I got off the plane. So. Y'all don't know yeah, get what, the I, just, what, what I just went through. You know, it wasn't that bad, but basically, I landed at about 1:45. I got my bag at like two. Vicky was supposed to land at three, but she didn't land until 3:30. But actually, that's not bad because I was the 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 flight was supposed to be two hours. It was only an hour. I was like. Yeah, you landed. I thought you were gonna land at four. Yeah, no, I landed. I landed at three thirty. So like, oh, it's gonna be an hour. I'm like, are we crossing so or splitting it? Probably. So yeah, the plan was that I was gonna land at two. Vicky was gonna land at three. So I was just gonna wait for her, and then we could take an Uber together to go to our hotel, or whatever, and then we'll have plenty of time to get dressed for the event. But um, that didn't quite happen. We got a little bit delayed. Um, I ended up getting dressed in the airport bathroom. I did my full makeup in the bathroom. I changed my clothes. Uh, the bathroom cleaning lady was watching me the entire time and singing to me also, I forgot to mention that. So that was very, a little unsanitary and a little difficult, but I pulled through and then I waited for Vicky in baggage claim, but then I realized we don't have the same baggage claim because we didn't take the same. Yeah, I, I rode all across the world. Uh, what's it called? The same airline. So Vicky was across the world in Africa at a different part yeah. of the airport. Yeah. And she had to take the, um, the, air, the train air train shuttle thingy to get train. to my part of the airport. Then she got to my part of the airport just now. And, and thus, oh, he says we're here. Hey, y'all got a call ready? Yes. I got an Uber here available for you right now. Where you going? Uh, we, our Uber just pulled up. I'm just looking for it. Right. You don't see it? It's a, it's it might be that. Thank you. They be trying to hustle you out here in these New York streets. We are Keep in the breast. Uber now. Keep a breast. Keep a breast. Save remember a people, breast. Remember people used to wear those uh, breast cancer um, bracelets? All I the love time. boobies. The I love boobies mm -hmm. one. Remember when people used to just wear those in general and have like 50 of them on their arm? Those little those things? Those bracelets, my brother used to wear them all the time. I'm like, do you take those off? He's like, no, I shower <laughs> with them. Like, yeah, like it was like a thing to just, like wear them forever and see how many you could like, like fit you and you how many different ones you have. Off? We started off with the. Um, Fenty, is it called Fenty Hot? What's the palette the called? Galaxy palette. The Fenty Galaxy palette. And clearly, I have stars and constellations all over my face <laughs> because I've got like glitter. It's everywhere. very glittery. Very glittery. But it's pretty. She went for a pink shade on the lid from the uh, Galaxy palette. And now she's going in with the like Too Faced, Too Faced Just Peachy. Just Peachy palette. Which smells fabulous, might I add. It's really perfuming the car nicely. I need to look into this light. <laughs> trying to make it look natural. My vlog is gonna be all you. I know, I feel like we should like switch, switch cameras. cameras, we should. All right, so we're in the hotel. Where, where? Where's the help? For the main lobby, please enter the elevator and press L. Oh, okay. Reading is fundamental, guys. Reading is fundamental. Hi. <laughs> classy, classy. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the hotel. We're in my hotel room right now. We didn't even have time to get Vicky into her actual hotel room. We just ran in here to kind of freshen up a little bit. We got mostly done like at the airport and in the car, but we just had to do a few things. I had to put my lip color on. What color did the Uber have? Oh, it's black. Okay. <laughs> oh my ass, oh Vicky my changed her outfit into something pink and I'm wearing pink pants because it's breast cancer awareness and we're calling the Uber right now to go to Kiehl's to have our meet up. We are running a little bit late but you know what? At least we made it. We made it here in one piece. We're gonna get there. We're gonna have a good time. Mm. 
<laughs> just casually. Hiding in my head. It's me. It's me again. Special vlogger today. I took a shower, I got comfy. Vicky is in her hotel room right now, but I think she's gonna come back in here because we're gonna have a slumber party <laughs> because we're children and we wanna be in the same room. But she just went to her room to take a shower. We ended up eating at, uh, I already forgot, Boqueria. I think it was Boqueria. I think that was the name of it. It was a really nice like Spanish tapas restaurant. Um, that Terry recommended. Terry is the manager of the Heels location that we had our meetup at. So she was the one who kind of coordinated everything. So shout out to her for coordinating our meetup that we had at Kiehl's today. We had a pretty good turnout seeing as we just announced the meetup yesterday. So people only had one day to find out about it and see if they could come. So we knew it was gonna be like a smaller little impromptu thing, but we just wanted to make sure that we did something while we were out here in New York. So definitely shout out to Kiel, shout out to Terry for throwing that together for us last minute and shout out to everyone who showed up to come and say hi and hang out with us for a few hours. It turned out really good and I'm happy I was able to visit with you guys and hang out with you guys and we took a bunch of selfies and stuff like that and um, I had one of the girls holding my camera for me so hopefully I got some good vlog footage of that. And so yeah, we had dinner and then we actually sat there and talked for a long time, had a cocktail. Uh, Vicky and I were talking with Terry, just talking about social media stuff, marketing stuff, PR stuff. So it was really nice to just sit there and have an adult conversation for once over a cocktail, uh, especially with someone new and be able to talk about common interests and stuff like that. That was really nice. So we ended up sitting in the restaurant for a while, which is why we didn't get back until late. And yeah, like I said, it, it actually it's 1 a.m. I thought it was midnight, but it's closer to 1 a.m. now. So um, I'm pooped, I'm exhausted. I had a long day of traveling. I pulled an all-nighter last night, preparing to travel and then traveling and then the whole hoopla of, you know, the travel day and then the meetup and then dinner. And now I'm here and I'm exhausted. And tomorrow is yet another full day 
Um, we are going to try and go to the Carly Bible pop-up shop and meet Carly. And then we have the RPG show event. And then we're probably gonna try and squeeze in some shopping after that and then dinner again. And then who knows, it's just gonna be a full day. So definitely stay tuned for that vlog as well. But until then, I'm going to bed and I will see you guys next time. Good night.